Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? I'm trying to see if the live starts for me and I can see your comments. It takes a minute sometimes. All right, let's see. Come on work with me today. Hey Clem, hey Lou, hi Sherry, hi mom. So excited Sherry that you are coming to the next card class which I will be announcing in a little bit. All right, hopefully people will start popping in. I'm gonna do some announcements. Um, the number one announcement Oh, thank you so much, Lou. I know it was late, guys, and I apologize that I was so late with that video. It's just like my life has kind of been crazy since the 10th of March. <laughs> Hopefully it's going to go back to normal here soon. Hey, Rose. Yay, Sherry, when are you actually leaving to come? For those of you who don't know, um, I live in Virginia Beach and a lot of people vacation here. And it just so happens that um, Sherry and her mom vacation here before they even knew who I was. And they come to my class when they are here. So it's definitely a possibility. Hey, Rita. Thank you so much, Rita. Hi, Donna. Yay! Oh my gosh, it's coming so quick. Before daylight. I love that you say that. <laughs> oh goodness. I hope everybody's doing well. Okay, let's talk about um, this flyer right here in front of me. Up to 60% off Last Chance products. So I did a video and I know it's late guys and I apologize again. Um, I have been not at home basically since the 10th of March. Um, I just got back home on Friday of last week and hopefully I've been playing a lot of catch up. So um, I finally got it done. I know that um, it wasn't prior to today, but hopefully you'll watch it and you'll mark and get my opinion on some of the really great deals in there. Um, and I have a special going on. If you spend um, $75 or more, it doesn't have to be Last Chance products, but you use my April host code, um, which let me grab a paper and write that down for you guys. Um, it is on my website. So if you click on the picture of the April host code on my website, it takes you right to my store and it puts the host code in for you. But um, if you order $75, I'm gonna send you a gift and you will get my tutorial bundle that has over 40 projects. And you will also get a customer card from me in the mail. And my gratitude, I am trying to reach a um, challenge that we've been given through Stampin' Up. So if I've ever um, helped you in any way with any kind of card and you wanna pay it forward and place an order, no matter how small it is, even if it's not $75, um, any order of any size gets a customer card. They're all hand stamped by me um, and sent out. And if you spend 50 or more, you get my tutorial bundle, which this month has over 40 um, projects. So the only requirement is that you use this host code um, for all of those things. It's a funny host code this month, right? Look at that host code. 2RZZZB4P. <laughs> I don't know how they come up with these 
with these num with these letters right they make no sense but this one's kind of funny because it has the z in the middle which is what i really feel like i have um been gone for so long it's been a, a sleepy month um for content for me anyway um so if you use this host code that would be awesome um 60 off of the items up to 60 percent off the items that are in this mini that are going away um retiring out and the annual catalog as well so don't miss out um a lot of stuff did carry over but a lot of bundles are going away and if you want the bundle you might as well save the 10 percent um so check that out um card fiesta speaking of sherry and coming here and going to card fiesta um my next one will be on um april 20th so just 10 days away i wish you could come to roxanne but if you're ever on the east coast come see me <laughs> okay um so it's at el azteca and if anybody is local feel free to let me know. Send me an email at kelly at inkyhandswarmhearts.com. Here is my inkyhandswarmhearts.com, but just kelly with an I, K-E-L-L-I at inkyhandswarmhearts.com. And let me know, and I will put you on the agenda to be part of the class. Um, I do it every other Saturday. So the one after the 20th of April will be on May 4th. The season will start in Virginia Beach. So if you do vacation, um, usually from Memorial Day to Labor Day is pretty busy. And I will be having six, seven, eight, about eight classes before during that time frame. <laughs> All right, let's talk about my Inky Hands crew membership. Um, if you are not a member, I would love to have you try it out for a month. It's $7.99 a month. You get two video tutorials a week. You also get a um, color sketch and a um, regular, not color sketch, a color challenge and a, a sketch challenge every month. And I think for the month of April, I'm going to try and do a live mystery card in the Facebook group. So I will pick um, a weekend day and we will do some mystery stamping because I think that that would be really fun to do with you guys. So... Um, I think I'm going to try that out. But um, if you go to my website, inkyhandswarmhearts.com, there's a section that says membership and all the information, um, if you have any questions about the memberships, will be there. I even have some testimonials um, from some members so that you can read about what they think about it. All right. Um, the annual catalog is going to be new, which is why we have the last chance list. Um, on May 1st, you can purchase out of the new annual catalog. If you are a customer of mine and you have placed an order, I have sent you a catalog. Um, you have to have ordered um, $50 or more in the last you know, six months or so. I usually check about that far back. Um, but if you get a catalog from another demonstrator, just let me know um, so that we don't duplicate the efforts because it does cost us to mail them out. Um, postage is not inexpensive. Hey, Malada, thanks for joining us. So don't forget about the annual catalog coming. There's some really great stuff in there. It's a totally new way to be laid out. Um, I believe um, you're going to like the catalog. All right, Delicate Wings is the paper pumpkin for um, April, and you have until tomorrow to um, say that you want it. So if you're not a paper pumpkin subscriber, I would love for you to have paper pumpkin under me. It helps me a lot to have subscribers. Plus, um, I have a paper pumpkin procrastinators group. Um, that we get together and work on our paper pumpkins. If you would like to come, it's always the last Friday of the month. Um, and there's an add-on which goes with the April, May, and June paper pumpkin. They have been doing that now for, um, I guess, since the first quarter of this year. I really love um, that they're doing it. The die sets are really cute. They are um, different, which I love. Um, the shape die, the thanks die, which is a nice bold 
font and then the butterfly is a two-part so it's four dies um you get a, a detailed butterfly and an outlined butterfly and you can layer the two together um so if you don't have the dies check those out in my online store just go under paper pumpkin you do have to be a paper pumpkin subscriber to get those um, online exclusives were live as of March 5th. If you have missed anything when you go to my online store, you want to just check under online exclusives. There is a heading for you to look at what is only available on the online store for that. If you missed out on my Easter 2024 paper piecing patterns and you would like to purchase those, um, they are available in my store. Um, for purchase so you can check those out as well as last year's Easter and then the last two years of Halloween all right let's talk about kits um, the newest kits are adorable um, this one is by your side it's $22 item number 163876 you get eight cards to each four designs um, and they came out on last Tuesday and then Hooray for Honeycomb is also a really cute kit. And when you open the card, you have um, that little honeycomb opens. It's really kind of a cute design. Um, so yeah, that's $18, nine cards, three each of three designs. And um, I just love the kits. They really have done a great job with them. All right, so talking about um, making a purchase from me and helping me out with my April sales goal. Um, if you order um, in the month of April, you will get um, a PDF. This is the cover of it. So these are the samples of what will be inside. There's some really great cards in here and it's 43 projects. Also, um, my March Fun Fold um, PDF is also available. I still haven't put it up on my website, but I will be doing that very soon. And we're actually going to be doing um, a technique PDF that will be out for April. So if you want uh, to learn a bunch of different techniques, they will have links to videos of those techniques. Check those out. And then I am going to be doing an in-color club. So if you are interested in an in-color club, just send me a text message, um, an email, um, a comment on this video, whatever works for you. And I will, um, it'll be coming out in a newsletter. So you will have a sign up form in the newsletter to sign up. And I think it's going to be really great. Um, so the new colors are pretty amazing and I can't wait to get you guys, um, in the in color club. All right, let's talk about the annual catalog because I am using, um, the Darling Details Bundle this week, and this is on page 68 of the annual catalog. Um, it is a really, really great um, set. I love the dies that come with it, and I'll be pointing those out um, today. And if you have not looked at this bundle, it is a good one. It is not discounted, but it is worth the money. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you the other um, the other um, stamp sets and dies that I am pairing. I just want to make sure I can pull all this off at the same time. <laughs> I'm pairing with um, this, and I'll show you our card. We're doing a fun fold card, and um, those are always a lot of fun, right? And so today... It's, I've been trying to do like Mother's Day theme. So for Mother's Day, I may not put a Mother's Day sentiment on every card because I don't want to have a Mother's Day sentiment on every card. <laughs> but um, you can substitute a Mother's Day sentiment for any of the designs that I've been doing. Um, this was Monday's card. And then I did a flashback on Sunday because we always look back every Sunday. And that card as well would work for a Mother's Day card. So it's with the seasonal branches, which is also on the last chance list. So this was Monday's um, card, and I will show you today's. But we are using the Darling Details Bundle, which, oh my gosh, I love the dies in this bundle. We're using Best 
family ever. This is not on last chance. And throughout the year is also not on last chance. And neither is my stylish shapes. But these are um, the items I'll be using. The You Mean So Much To Me is the sentiment for the inside um, of this card. And then I used Best Family Ever. And we did Best Ever Mom for the outside. So let me show you the card. Um, I did show a little bit of it, but not the whole card. Okay, so it's... Um, a pop out gatefold card. Thank you, Lou. I appreciate that. Um, so I made a belly band for the outside and I'm using the masterfully made DSP. I love this designer series paper because to me, it is so realistic. In fact, on the card from Monday, when I showed it to John and he um, looked at the card when I designed it, the first thing that he did was reach down here to touch this paper because he thought, um, as most people do, that, um, yeah, it is three-dimensional, right? Sorry, guys, I'm moving you around a little, but I think I need to move it a smidge this way. I just saw that we were off a little. Um, so he went to touch this, and then he says, oh, my gosh, I thought that that was three-dimensional. It absolutely, positively does look three-dimensional. So, yeah, crazy. But it's true. This is a pretty amazing um, DSP, and we're going to be using it for this card. So the belly band slips off of our card like this, and that's where I use the Best Ever Mom from that um, stamp set. Best Family Ever. And then this is the um, DSP and see how it looks like you could like touch it and it has dimension. <laughs> so when you open this piece pops out. All right. So um, we're going to this folds back and when you can set it up on a desk, it sits up like this. So, Clem, I know you're going to love it because it is a fun fold card and you love those. But I think this um, stamp set lends itself really well to this DSP, which is why I have used it um, on these projects. All right. So, anybody have any questions before we get started? Or are you ready to dive in and um, learn how to make this cool card? I'm always drinking water because I talk way too much. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm sorry I was a little bit late today um, getting online, but sometimes that happens. So we're going to start with a piece of Lost Lagoon. Oops, I just dropped one of my die cut pieces. So let me pick that up real quick before. All right, got it before I lose it, because that would make me sad. All right, so we have a piece of Lost Lagoon cardstock. I'm gonna move this card to the corner just to get it out of my way, because um, we're gonna bring in the scoreboard and all that. So normally a half sheet of cardstock is eight and a half by five and a half. And for this particular fun fold, to make it real easy for measurement wise, I went with eight by five and a half. So um, I cut that little piece off the end <laughs> and it's gonna make our life so much easier, right? So instead of it being eight and a half, it's eight inches. That way you guys didn't have to do, um, yeah, eighth of an inch, right? <laughs> All right, me too. Yes, it's awesome, Sherry. Okay, so we're gonna score across the eight inch length. It's still five and a half inches. It's still the same height. It's just a little bit um, smaller the other direction. So we're gonna score at two and at four and at six. See how easy that was? No eighths involved. <laughs> so two, four, and six. Um, and then we're also going to have another piece that we're going to score. Um, it is also a piece of Lost Lagoon. I got to grab it out of here. And it's this one. 
And I need one more piece of Lost Lagoon. Okay, so we have three pieces of Lost Lagoon that we're gonna do scoring on, okay? So the first one, is the eight by five and a half. This next shorter one is one by three. And this is going to be the piece that the circle in the middle sits on. So we're gonna score this at half of an inch. It's a one inch by three inch piece. So we're gonna score it on the long side at half inch, one inch, two inch, and two and a half. All right, so it's not every half inch, you leave an inch in the middle. So half inch, one inch, two inch, and two and a half. So I'm gonna put that to the side. And then we have a piece that is four and seven eighths by one inch. I know, no, I said no eighths, but I used it. And you'll understand why I wanted it. It's the piece that holds our circle completely. It's this wide band that goes across our card. And the reason I did seven eighths is because this middle panel is a four inch panel and I didn't want the seam to be hindered um, when you went to close it by too much bulk. So by coming in an eighth of an inch, it left me a little bit of a 16th on one side and the other. Um, it really just works out for the best. So just trust me with this one. So four and seven eighths by one inch. And we're gonna score that half inch on each side. So we're gonna do half inch, and then you're just gonna rotate it around and half inch again, okay? So that's a little bit of scoring today. All right, let me put that scoreboard away and then we're gonna burnish, right? Cause that's what we do. All right, so we'll start with our card base. And I'm gonna grab my bone folder and I always go to the raised piece here. So I'm gonna have the raised up and then I'm gonna go ahead and score the three score lines with the raised up. I like to do that scoring first. That way if we have any, um, we don't have to worry about any kind of um, cracking of our cardstock. And then for this piece here, we're gonna do it kind of like a Z on each end. So we're going to turn this one in, this one out, um, and then again, this one in, that one, this way. So you have um, kind of a Z, a backward Z and a Z, right? Attached like this. So this is this one. And once I have it all put together, I like to go ahead and give it a little score so that put that to the side and then we're also going to do the raised sides and we're going to score those back all right so those are our three pieces so we're going to go back to this large piece i'm going to put these to the side we don't need them for a little bit let's talk about our designer series paper and all of the layers <clears throat> so for this particular card you need eight pieces that are one and three quarters by five and a quarter. Two of them are gonna be basic white because you need to write on your card, right, in some spot. And so I put those two panels on the back. Hey, Julie, thanks for joining us. I knew you would love it, Clem. <laughs> All right, so the back gets two panels that are one and three quarters by five and a quarter. And then I did three different prints, okay? So I have two of them that are this torn um, Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock. The back side is the same as the front. See, it has these cool fl florals. And then I have, um, so I have two of those. And make sure you cut them so that they're, um, side by side because you see how it is very pleasing to the eye even though there's a cut between them for them to continuously go across and then I have two pieces of the DSP that also were cut side by side and these are going to go on this panel these are going to go on the front of the card and these are going to go in the middle all right 
like that. I think I'm gonna turn them this way because I think, let me see, make sure, yeah, like this. I like them, I think, with the torn parts with the white facing down. So let me grab my silicone mat and we're gonna glue the inside first, but we're gonna start with the two outer pieces. So you can see the torn in the lemon lime twist is behind the um, floral pattern. So we're gonna go ahead and, well, I'm gonna try anyway. This is a brand new bottle, so I don't know why it's gonna give me a hard time, but it just likes to do that, I think. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this one attached first. I'm gonna move these just to the side um, so that I can do one at a time. And so we're gonna we'll have a little border all the way around. And then we're going to attach this one. So the two outer pieces, do the best we can. Get it as even as possible, right? All right, before we glue this piece down, this piece here is gonna go in the middle, okay? But what we wanna do <clears throat> is we wanna get it prepped. Hey, Milani, thanks for joining us. So we wanna use our bone folder and kind of break down the fibers in the middle section of this cardstock because it is going to um, move like that when the card moves. So we wanna just go ahead and get it ready so that there's no cracking. We're gonna put the adhesive on these two back pieces, okay? So once I have it curled, I'm just gonna hold it down and I'm gonna do one side. And then the other. All right, and then I'm gonna hold it in the middle so I don't get glue on myself. So what you wanna do is you wanna lay this down in the center as best you can. And you want a little bit in, it's like a 16th of an inch in on each side. And I'm gonna use my roller to give that a little press. And then that will hold that middle piece. See how it, because we gave it that little curl, see how it does that for us, which is really awesome. So now we're ready to glue these and make sure that you have it lined up the right way, right? So that you don't have it confused. That can happen, so. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so we're gonna turn these over. Let's start with this side. I wanna make sure I put it in the right order. All right, so we're gonna start with this one. And... All right, when we slide it in, we're gonna put it underneath this piece. So you're just gonna slide it in like this and then just move it over right to that edge where um, that folded pieces and you're covering up that fold so no one will see it okay we're going to do the same thing on the other side i love it too sherry um i actually ordered one pack of it and it's on sale. I did mark it in my last chance video. So if you have missed out on this fantastic paper, oh my gosh, don't. Because it's not only that, but it's on sale like 30% off I think. And it is gorgeous. This paper to me is just stunning. I love how three dimensional it is. All right, so this little piece comes next and we're gonna put glue on those little tabs again. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit on each. And then I'm gonna glue that in the center of this piece, okay? So you wanna kinda of put them together and press this into place, one and then the other, all right. And then that goes right there in the middle. 
And I'm just gonna give that a little press, but this is what um, these sides will pop up and it is what will hold your piece together. Now, of course I put way too much glue. So you have to be careful of that. So Sherry, you're like me and you use a lot of glue. So be aware, because if there's any residue sticking out, your card will stick together. Okay, so we don't want that. So just make sure that no glue has oozed. And if it did, use your eraser. All right, so there's the inside. Let's um, close our card and we are gonna do the outside, okay? So let's go ahead and flip over. How are you, Milani, today? That one just looks like off. Hmm. I don't think this is the right size, so I'm just gonna pull that off, guys. I think I'm gonna put this one in its place. I think I cut that wrong, but that's okay. I did. And this one's stuck. Let's pull out a piece and we're gonna cut it right here. At least I caught it. Um, very possible to do because um, when I make so many cards, it happens. So let me see, I gotta find that one. It's the one with the green on the back. Hello, where are you? <laughs> it's here somewhere, okay. Let's cut. A piece one and three quarters and this is gonna be too long of course so one and three quarters I think that one might have been one and a half it was probably just a leftover and then we're gonna go sorry I have to flip you guys around again because I'm not used to cutting on this end but I will for you guys so two five and a quarter by one and three quarters. All right, so at least I caught it. So this paper is the one that has this area at the top that I used for the front. Um, I love this paper so much. And then this one, I'm just gonna let sit over to the side because later I will erase all of that glue and use it for another project. All right, so that's that one. Let's do the white on the back. Well, after I have glued this one on. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute, that looks so narrow. It has such a wide border, but we got it. We caught it in time. All right, so we're gonna put this one on. Saved, right? Sometimes it happens, but you just gotta do what you gotta do. All right, all right, so there's the front. Let's put our white panels on the back. And then we'll have the base of our card pretty much ready. And then we're gonna do the stamp parts, right? Let me put on both and then I'll glue them both down. All right, also guys, don't forget that we will be having a stamp camp in June for new annual catalog stuff. I forgot to talk about that in the beginning, but um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. And those of you who attended my, um, my stamp camp last time, I'm sure you guys can't wait to go again because it was pretty awesome. It was my first time doing it. And I tell you what, I loved the group. They did a beautiful job. All right, so there's the back where you can write your sentiments. I know, Roxanne, like we know the measurement, but it's like we cut it too short or something. I don't know. Anyway, so this piece is going to come out. This is how the card is going to be. All right. So on this piece, we're going to do a little piece. And then on the belly band, we're going to do a little piece. So we're done with this for right now. So... That wasn't too hard, was it? Let's work on our um, 
our two pieces. So the belly band, I have cut that one by, I believe nine inches. Yeah, one by nine, and that's pretty peacock. And then I have a, pea, a scrap piece of Lost Lagoon and then another scrap piece. <clears throat> and we're gonna use this for the sentiments. I have two circles from Stylish Shapes. I have um, cut one of these beautiful die cut flowers from the um, Darling Details. It's this one right here. It's not so pretty. Um, the let's look what circles because I didn't write it down, so we're gonna ask. Okay, so the largest um, stylish shapes in bubble bath, and then the second largest in melon mambo. Okay, all right. So we're going to. Stamp with um, Pretty Peacock the sentiment on this piece, the one that says, you mean so much to me, and it's from throughout the year, this one right here, okay? And then the one from um, Best Family Ever is a set that has all the different family members. You can even do um, in-laws, um, just the, the coolest. I love this set. Um, we're going to do best ever and then mom. Okay. So those are the two. I have put them both on the same block. This is a photopolymer set. And then the throughout the year is a cling. So we're going to stamp both of those in pretty peacock. I'm going to move these out of the way for right now. And I'll start with the larger of the two. Get it nice and inked up. And this is way too big, but it's okay. It's just a scrap I grabbed out of my scrap pile. So we're gonna stamp, you mean so much to me. All right, so there's that one. I'll clean it in a minute. And then I put best ever mom. Once it's inked up, you'll be able to see it really good. So I'll bring it up to the camera for you guys to see. So you can see that it is, um, the two pieces are put together. And we're going to ink that. This is a half inch piece that's just like, you know, when you're cutting cardstock and it's just those little pieces that are left over, I always use them for sentiments. So I'm going to bring this down. Um, and hopefully you guys can see really well because I um, I need to be able to see, right? And I don't want to put my head in the camera, so I'm going to be really careful and stamp best ever mom on that piece right there. Milani! How are things going over there at your new place? I am so excited for you. And Milani, if you come to the class, um, not this Saturday, next Saturday, you'll get to meet Sherry because Sherry is coming from Tennessee to go to the class. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to clean up. Oh, I bet. It's always like that, right? It's like... There's always a storm first before it becomes the way you want it to be. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is just leave these off to the side till it's time to um, put them, but I just wanted to stamp them. Look at how beautiful um, Pretty Peacock looks on Lost Lagoon cardstock. Do they not like just go together so perfect? So I'm gonna put those off to the side. And we're going to bring in some die cut pieces. I've already die cut them out so that you wouldn't have to sit here and watch me die cut so many things out. But I'm going to bring my circles in and I'm going to put um, the pieces on the ones they go with. So the small um, melon, smaller melon mambo is going to get this, um, which is a standalone die. Um, and it was die cut in um, bubble bath. Then in bubble bath, I stamped with Melon Mambo ink 
the um, larger flower from the stamp set right here. So this flower. And one of those is going to go there. Oh my goodness, I was supposed to do another one and didn't. So I guess we are going to be die cutting together. <laughs> I thought we were done, but obviously not. I'm going to do that um, on camera with you guys. Um, so the other is this one's going to get this pink and it's going to get one of these as well. I just have to do that. It's also going to get one of these smaller leaves right here. And then it's getting this tri leaf, which I stamped first with this outline. And then I stamped the, I mean, the veining. And then I stamped the outline. And then um, this one is going to get two of those if I haven't lost them. I guess I haven't. And then these two little flowers are going to go here. And then this one's getting one. And this one's getting one. And then this goes on this one. So I guess let's go ahead and stamp. I got to grab a scrap paper. We're going to stamp this flower in Melon Mambo because I have, um, I didn't cut it out. It just is what it is, guys. <laughs> I think you're getting used to um, all of the craziness that happens sometimes. But I'll bring the mini machine out and let's get a scrap piece of bubble bath all right this hopefully will fit. and if it doesn't we'll trim it all right so we're going to ink up this flower in melon mambo and i'll stamp it right here all right I'm gonna get my cleaner and clean that, get it out of the way. Trying to get all that pink out of there, although I don't know why I try because I love pink, but. All right, we're gonna grab my scissors and we'll cut that out of here just to give us, all right, and we'll move that out of the way. All right, so let's see what's next. We gotta get the die, so I have to pull that out. Sorry guys, I thought I was gonna be all ready for you. So this is that one. And I gotta get a, a post-it flag. So we'll grab that one. All right, let's move these guys out of the way so they don't get picked up by my die cut by accident. All right. So we're gonna open this little mini that's dusty. I use my big one a lot more than this little baby. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put um, our plates. I'm gonna line up this so that you guys can see, hopefully. All right, so there it is lined up. And then I'm gonna use this post-it flag to hold it in place. And what you want to do is put one in, one out, one in, one out. So I'm going to do that. And we'll crank this through. So easy. Goes through so simple. <laughs> All right. Let's close this. And voila. There is our um, larger flower that goes over there. So I guess I forgot so that you guys could um, see how easy it is to die cut this set, right? I don't know why I forgot, but it is what it is. Oh my goodness. Hey, Eileen, thanks for joining us. Is Mima with you? Yes, I know you're super late, but luckily um, you have not missed too much other than me gluing um, some paper and of course you did miss the score lines but you can catch the replay if you decide to make this card it is a really great um mother's day card though i do have to say all right so now that we have all our parts and pieces let's go ahead and bring the larger one in first so the first thing that i'm gonna do is just kind of lay out how i want this all to look and I took this leaf that is all together, see? 
and I cut this one off because I wanted it to be um, by itself. So I wanted a two leaf on this side and then a single one on this side and I just rounded it like that. Let's get rid of the extras. All right, so this single leaf is gonna go somewhere here like that. It's not 100% perfect, right? We just do what we can do. Um, I think I'm gonna put it like that, maybe here. And then I want this one kind of up here somewhere. I'm gonna put another leaf maybe like that behind here. And we're gonna put this one, we're gonna put this flower and it's gonna be kind of overlapping. So the other thing we're doing is we're going to cut or trim this piece. So what I'm gonna do first is just get rid of most of the excess, and then I'm gonna bring out my little um, guillotine cutter, okay? And I'm gonna first start by getting rid of the sides. I tell you what, I really love this little guillotine cutter, and even though Stampin' Up! no longer sells this, I do have another one, I use it also, um, and it is the same exact one, it's just not this gray color. So if you are wanting one, you can get it. All right, so I'm gonna put the you mean there, and then we're gonna get rid of here the um, to me. We're gonna separate that from much. All right, so there's so much, and then to me. So we'll get rid of all of this first, and then I'm gonna just trim these sides and this side. I have to make sure that it's not going crooked on me. All right, and then this also needs to be a little bit closer. So yeah, just be careful guys when you use this. I um, am, I use it so much, but um, I have the safety off of mine because then I cannot hold things so small and I like to. So just be careful though. I'm gonna trim um, these two away from each other as well. So there's that one. Let's get rid of the little sides of this word. All right, you mean so much to me. All right, let's get rid of all of this. Now the best ever mom, that's gonna be on the other circle. So I'll put it over here and we'll deal with that when it, when it comes time for that one. But basically what you wanna do is you just wanna start building your piece. And since <clears throat> this leaf is attached underneath this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of adhesive right on the front and bring my flower to it. So it'll be similar to something like this, um, maybe like that. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on this leaf. I'm gonna bring you guys down a little so you can see a little closer. And then I'll bring you back up when it's time um, to show the finished card. All right, so let's come down because I like you guys to be able to see what I'm doing, okay? All right, so there is that piece, okay? Then we're going to add um, the, this flower, but we're gonna kind of pop it up, but it's gonna be right about there. And then this leaf is kind of that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of just this little part of the leaf, and it's going to sit like that, and right there. Isn't that a pretty leaf? I really like that, and I like separating them out a little. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna add just a little bit of adhesive onto that piece, and it's gonna go somewhere like here-ish. Who knows? All right, so the back of this one is gonna get dimensional, so let's just go ahead and put them on. And 
one. I'm probably gonna use a mini because I'm not happy if unless I fill it completely up. So that's gonna go there somewhere. Let's go ahead and glue this piece down flat. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue there, not everywhere because we don't want it to come off the card, right? I mean, or off the circle. So, oh, uh, let's see. I want this peak to be kind of showing. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, so we're gonna put that like that. And then we're gonna attach this flower up here. So let's go ahead and pull the backs off. Oh, sorry, not feeling good, sis. All right, so let's add, um, I think I want this dip here somewhere around that piece. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I really love this stamp set. Um, I've had it for a while and I don't know why I didn't use it. It's like I loved it so much I just enjoyed looking at it or something. All right, so we're gonna take one of these little flowers and we're gonna add mini dimensionals to the back. They're gonna have some dimension. One of them is gonna live over here by this leaf and the other one's gonna live somewhere around right there, okay? So now it's time to add the you mean so much to me. So I want the you to be up here. It looks like I was a little crooked and I'm gonna fix that. All right, so we're gonna add that right there. It's gonna kind of hang off. We're gonna put mean right about there. And I was a little crooked on that one too, probably because I should have cut them separate and I didn't, I cut them together. And then when I tried to separate them, I didn't have much to hold on to. All right, so we're gonna add that one like that. And then so much is going to be right. Let me see if I move that up a little. Yeah. You mean. Perfect. So much. So I'm going to need some dimensionals behind that. And then we're going to add to me down here at the bottom. So this top section is leaning on this flower. So it doesn't need dimensionals. But I'm going to put in this section here. So let's put one here. Maybe one here and one there. And let's get a big one and fill this spot. And then I'm gonna look and see if I need any more. So I'm just gonna lay it for right now. If anything is sagging, no, I think it's perfect actually. It looks awesome. So let's stick this one down first. So I'm gonna put a little bit of wet adhesive there cause that's gonna stick to the larger rows. And I don't know what I did with my take your pick tool. Oh, there it is. Sorry guys. It went rolling away and I know you can't see it cause I have you zoomed in. All right. So we're gonna add this one first because it's kind of pivotal, right? You mean so much. And then the others kind of fit um, that piece. So now we can pull this off and add our flower, maybe like that. Let's add this one over here. So cute. And we're gonna add just regular multi-purpose glue. For, let me grab my tweezers to me and you mean all right let's keep it straight so I don't crook it anything because you know it's very possible to happen you just kind of have to take your time. Thank God there's wiggle room with this glue, right? I love that. That turned out super awesome. So now we have that one done. I'm just gonna lay it to the side. This is gonna go on the inside of the card. Let's work on the one on the outside, okay? All right, so let's take all of our parts and pieces. We have two small leaves. All right, so this one's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna add this one down here, sticking out a little bit like that. 
we're gonna take this standalone die and we're gonna kind of have that sticking out a little bit as well. And I think it's so pretty, I love that. We're gonna add some leaves and some flowers. So let me put some adhesive on the back of this piece. This will be the first one that we add. And since most of it's gonna be covered here, we can add a little bit of glue, but we don't need a ton. All right, so how about that? Let's add a little bit here on this leaf. And it's gonna kind of stick out a little like that. That looks good to me. All right, so I'm going to attach, I'm gonna have this one kind of tucked um, behind this flower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue here, just a smidge, and then on these two ends, and then I'm gonna add the little flower right over the top like that. So now it's a unit, which helps. This is going to be popped up and these two leaves are gonna be flat. So let's go ahead and put a dimensional right there to help hold that in place. And then I'm gonna add some minis. Hi, Kimberly, that's okay. You can watch the replay. I'm happy that you chose to join us. Thanks for being here. We're doing a pop out um, fun fold card. Um, it's really a fun, fun fold. <laughs> it's a good one, I mean. <laughs> All right, now that I put 5,000 billion um, dimensionals on the back, I think it's ready to get attached. So I'm just gonna lift those off. All right, they're all off. And we're gonna add this around, hmm, how do I want that? I think I want it like this. I want some of that leaf to show. I want some room over here for a green leaf. So I think like that. I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I like it, I'm happy with that. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit of glue to the bottom of this leaf and we're gonna tuck it in on this side like that. And then the same thing with the other. We're gonna add it. And I just kind of played around and figured out where it looked best. And so that's how I figured that part out. Now we're gonna do best ever mom. I really didn't do a very good job of stamping that. I think, mm, mm, should I do it again? I think I should. I don't really like it. Let's try that again. I think I was trying so hard not to be in the camera. And now that the camera's down, I won't have to worry about that. So let's do it again. All right, so we're gonna do it here and I can see exactly what I'm doing now. All right, let's try that. Oh, way better, way, way better. Okay, so we're gonna snip right here kind of close to the word mom. And then on this side, I'm also going to um, snip kind of close to the word best. All right, so there is that. And we are going to add this right here at the bottom. It's gonna kind of overhang the flower and overhang a little bit off the edge, but I do need some support. So I'm gonna add mini dimensionals in these little spots. I think I'm gonna add one here, and is that enough? And then I'm gonna put one on that leaf, right there. Let me make sure that, I think I need one right there also, it's gonna be covered. All right, so four dimensionals for support. And we are gonna add wet adhesive on to the top part. So this is the good side. This is the wrong side. So I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive here. I'm not gonna go all the way to the end because a little bit sticks out, remember. All right, let's pick this up and we're gonna add that across our piece right here. Oh my gosh, I love it, so cute. Best mom, best ever mom. I guess I could have done best mom ever, but I did best ever mom. All right, so that's that. Let me clean my stamp real quick because that was supposed to have been stamped already. All right, let's 
get this ink pad out of here. And we're gonna do the finishing touches. So the first thing we're gonna do is add um, our belly band around our card, that kind of stuff. So for the belly band, I'm gonna give it a little curl, just break the fibers down slightly. I don't want it to get any kind of creases. So I'm just gonna kind of get it going. Just leave that like that for right now. Um, let's go back to the card. So on the inside, we have this little piece which allows it to toggle back and forth, which is why I made that piece there, okay? And then this piece, comes out when you open the card, okay? So on here, I'm gonna put dimensionals because I want it to pop up even more when it comes out of the card. So I'm gonna just put four, fill up that little spot there. And then I'm gonna center my um, bubble bath, the larger circle for the inside, okay? I'm gonna hold it up for a second just to make sure that I have the sentiment straight. Then we're gonna go ahead and push that down. So when you open your card, that pops out like that. This is when it's closed, you open, and then you have that little pop out. I love how that looks. Thank you so much, Kimberly, for thinking of me. I really appreciate you. Um, I appreciate all of you guys who left me the kindest sentiments um, in the comments. I really appreciate it. It has been rough, but I'm getting through. Um, and all of your kind words help. All right, so I put the um, one by nine inch piece of Pretty Peacock that I curled with my bone folder kind of down, and we're going to um, bring it to the front. We don't want it to be super tight, okay? So we're just gonna leave it, have a little bit of room here, and we're gonna add our wet glue to seal it. So I'm gonna put about a little more than half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch of glue there. And then I'm gonna place this and I'm gonna slide a little bit down. I definitely want it to stay glued, but it's not a big major thing because it's gonna be covered up. So the reason that when I do a belly band, I put my seam in the front is because on the back, I don't want you to see a seam. So by putting the seam in the front, it's gonna get covered with this and no one will know it's there. So that's why, I'm trying to see if I raised it up, I did. All right, so we're gonna use some more dimensionals. So I'm gonna put um, two right here and then I'm gonna put one here and one here and that should be enough um, to hold my Melon Mambo second largest circle. Did I get them all? Okay, I did this time. picking up as I go because guys, the mess that is on this table when I am done, you don't even have any idea. All right, so we're gonna take this piece and we are gonna center it right there. Best ever mom. And there is that. Let me bring you guys back up so that you can see everything. I'm gonna move my silicone mat out of the way and I'm gonna slowly bring you up without hopefully um, dropping the camera. All right, I think I did it. So there is our card. Here it is opened and with the belly band, right? It's so pretty how it pops right out of the card, right? Such a great um, fun fold. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make it. Again, we're using the Darling Details, which, oh my gosh, I love this bundle. Monday's card used um, this frame right here. So this is what it looks like when it's on a card. And um, yeah, so it's a pretty awesome bundle. Today, I also used Best Ever Family um, for the mom sentiment and then the you mean so much to me out of throughout the year and then don't forget as always my old faithful um, stylish shapes if you guys missed the um, if you guys missed my video that I made for um, 
the last chance list. Don't forget that. And also, um, don't forget that if you place an order with me in April using my host code, um, which you can find on my website, um, you will get a customer card for any size purchase, $50 or more, you'll get a tutorial bundle with 43 projects this month. And I will add a special gift if you take it up to 75. So I appreciate you guys so much. Um, if you have learned from me, I appreciate, I know a lot of you guys are hobby demos, but um, if you could support me this month, I would greatly appreciate that. Um, and I appreciate all of the all of you who do support me on a monthly basis, especially with my um, membership group. That's a fantastic way for Hobby Demos to support me. So thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate you so much. And I will see you soon. The, the live should be up right after I hang up from this live. And if you go to my website, I have detailed photos of project. And I also have embedded the video so you can catch it right from the same place. So I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to share my video. If you haven't clicked the thumbs up, I would appreciate that as well. And I will see you soon. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping!